So we have on stage with us, thank you, Ella. And give a Vermont welcome to Eleanor Bucklin, Molly Obamsuen, Aza Burke, and Eli Cohen, who are Lula Wiles. In Pace Magazine's words, they are provocateurs of the best kind, rabble-rousers with the purest of intentions. Since this band's inception in 2014, they've toured, toured internationally, winning fans at the Newport Folk Festival, the Philadelphia Folk Festival, garnering acclaim on NPR's music and two Boston Music Award nominations. Their songs speak to the issues of this moment and this night. Their song, Shaking As It Turns, is something of an anthem for First Light with these words. Is this land yours? Is this land mine? The fault lines crack and the fists they fly. Please welcome Lula Wiles. Thank you so much for being here, and thank you, Peter, um, for the introduction. We're, we're happy to be here in front of this beautiful view, and we're sorry that we're blocking it for you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Here's a song about power.
You may think the world is all complacent fools But hunger is an engine and anger's fuel And everybody's hungry all because of Thank you. Thank you so much. We spent a lot of time over, um, over the break, <laughs> um, the last 16 months, uh, thinking about how Jeff Bezos was getting so much richer. And uh, Issa wrote that, wrote that song. Um, it's off our new album, uh, Shame and Sedition, uh, which we recorded in June of 2020. So a few months into the pandemic. And now here's a song written by our incredible bass player, Molly Obamsawin. inspired by my favorite author, um, James Baldwin. I was reading a lot of Baldwin in the last couple years, actually, even before the pandemic, but um, really settled in during. Um, and what really speaks to me about his writing is his ability to express profane realities in a really beautiful way. Um, if anyone's read his writing, you probably know what I mean. So this is sort of my dedication, homage to him, and um, a few of a few quotes in particular that really um, stuck with me after reading his work.
Eli Cohen on the drums. We're now going to do the third song on our new album. Uh, the album's called Shame and Sedition. I think Molly might have mentioned that earlier. And we're now doing, we've done the first three tracks, but in the wrong order. But this one is actually the third track, and it's the third song we're doing, if anyone's <laughs> keeping track. <laughs> I'm trying to keep track. <laughs> These are the important takeaways from our shows. <laughs> Only the real fans will know what order our songs yeah. <laughs> come. How's everybody feeling? We are too. We're so glad to be here with you all.
you so much. Eleanor Buckland wrote that song. She's written a lot of devastating heartbreak jams, but that, in my personal opinion, is her most devastating one of all. <laughs> I was like, this is too sad of a song for it to have a chorus, so I just decided <laughs> it wouldn't have a chorus. It was our extreme pleasure to play that at a bluegrass festival yesterday. <laughs> um, there are a few sort of themes on our new album that chase each other, eclipse each other um, throughout, and um, power and colonization are among them. They're not the only themes. Obviously, we have devastating heartbreak um, as well, thematically. Um, but one could argue that some of the content of those sort of songs, self-reflective songs about um, womanhood and um, sort of the feelings of shame and um, interactions with masculinity also sort of can fit into those colonial uh, and, and power dynamic themes. So what I'm trying to say is there is um, conceptual consistency throughout our album and you should like it. <laughs> um, and this next song is no exception, although I did an interview recently where someone was like, so this next song is about the internet, right? And it's, it's Among not. other things. <laughs> Among other things, so. Um, it's called Connected, everybody. Connected.
over here playing the guitars, and she'll play the fiddle later as well. This is Issa Burke, everybody. Thank you. Uh, this, this next song uh, I wrote a few years ago um, after a hiking excursion early in the morning uh, in a small town in Austria while we were on tour. Um, and I, it didn't occur to me until just now, but I think um, this song is maybe fitting for tonight um, because this, this song is about a moment in my life where I had been uh, really depressed for a long time and starting to feel like I was coming out of it. Um, and can anyone relate after the year we've all had? Um, <laughs> but also, uh, I think that a big part of what was special about that moment for me was experiencing a moment of connection with the natural world, um, which is obviously a big part of what we are here to do and um, to ensure that the land that we all love is stewarded uh, in the way that it should be by those who are most connected to it. This song isn't about that part, but Molly can tell you about that part. <laughs> but we're about that part. Yeah. <laughs> as a band.
Thank you. This next song is one that we wrote together in the studio in uh, last June, um, all four of us. And um, it started from a chorus that Ellie had written and it turned into um, a four-way sort of think tank on um, the way that the media shapes our perceptions of, um, of our lives and of each other. And um, this was all especially relevant during, um, as we were recording this album over Juneteenth and surrounding the, um, the protests after George Floyd was murdered um, last May. So that's a lot of feelings contained in this song. Uh, it's called Television. Oh 
very much. There are so many ways um, by which we are misinformed about the world we live in um, and about each other and about communities that we're not from. And um, while well, television is one of them, I know um, through First Light Learning Journey, a lot of us are grappling with the um, miseducation we have all received through public schools, especially when it comes to First Nations um, and Indigenous peoples. Um, and so I just wanna take a moment to say Thank you to the First Light Learning Journeys and um, for hosting this, and um, especially an immense thank you to all of the uh, indigenous people who have um, put in the energy to educate um, when given that platform. I know that it is not easy, um, and it often can take more energy than you get back from it, so I just wanna honor all of those um, indigenous people as well for using that opportunity and um, yeah, even when it's not easy. <laughs> Thank you.
back out there I hear an old country song You never liked this one So I'll play it all night Thank you. Uh, so I guess there's a sort of consecutive duo of songs on the record of just like me being mad at people who have wronged me. <laughs> so that was one of them, and here's the other one. I feel like that's another theme of the album, yeah. whether it be an individual or a colonizer. Yeah, it's, it's about... Uh, discarding the things that are no longer serving you, whether that's your stupid ex-boyfriend or colonialism and capitalism. Because those aren't really serving anyone except the Jeff Bezoses, and we already addressed that. <laughs> I just, I'm sorry, I, go for it. Go for it. He didn't really give Eli a mic, but he just said, if we date Jeff Bezos, we ju just only have to write one song. So, thank you, Eli. That's why, uh, well, no, we did give him a vocal mic. Hmm. Rethink this. I'll say it again here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Marion, why don't you get your shit together? waiting for a better time, a better weather to return your messages. You're holding on to vestiges of a long life. And we're not making plans, Mary. Mary Ann, I bet you're
we're gonna play one more song and then take a break. And I believe during that break, you'll be hearing from um, the land trust representatives. So don't go anywhere. Or if you have to go somewhere, come back quickly. <laughs> um, this next song is um, was released in at the end of 2019, um, before the great Panini. <laughs> and um, <laughs> we um, didn't get a chance to tour it. And we want you to know that we have seven inch vinyl records um, of this next song and another single that we put out with it. Um, it's called It's Cool, and you can find those at the merch table. And also, Molly was saying that earlier her connected song is not about the internet. I would argue that this song actually is about the internet. So <laughs> if that's what you're thinking when you hear it, you're right. <laughs> Thank you. We'll be right back. 